All right, guys, here we are again. Ivy League Mixed Martial Arts located in Severna Park, Maryland. Uh, today what we're going to show is, is for me, it's, it's always been a pretty good move, but one of my, my former trainers, very, very good trainer, a guy named Paul Greenhill, or better known as the Wise Grappler, very, very good with this technique, and it's called a, a Nogi Bravo Choke. In some circles, they call it a Dars Choke. The actual uh, way it's pronounced is DRC, Choke, if you want to call it that, uh, named after Joe DRC up in New York there. Um, for more information on Master Paul, by the way, guys, go to IHateYoungPunks.com. Now, the move itself, the Nogi Bravo, Dars Choke, the RC Choke, whatever you want to call it, is going to be applied best when you're in cross body and the person's going to be on their side. The reason why is it, the choke is very dependent on the angle you get when the person's on the side versus being flat on the back. And I'll show you what I mean. If I pass Gino's guard, whatever way I pass the guard, okay, and I get the cross body here, let's say I had cross body, and she up in bridges and she stops on her side here. That's the time you do this move when the person's on their side. Because once they get to their knees, it's difficult. Harder to make that reach, harder to make that angle. Not impossible, I don't want to make you think you can't do it from there, but it's much easier from right where Gino is now. So here, the first thing I want to do is I want to get on this wrist and I want to pull this wrist down and across her neck here, okay, if it's not already there. Because a lot of times, this arm's going to be around your back like this here. Okay, so you want to reach in and get that wrist and pull the arm across, okay? My other arm is going to come under, that arm and under her neck, just like this. When I bring the arm under, I want to make sure my palm is facing the ceiling here. Very, very important, guys. And you really got to get as much reach out of your arm as you can because like me, I'm not, I don't have really long arms. So a Bravo choke, a lot of times it, it, it's dependent on having longer arms. So you've got to get as much reach out of your arms as you possibly can. So here, when I come under, I stuff this elbow down and I really lower my shoulder. You see my shoulder goes from this high to down here, which makes a huge difference, okay? This elbow, I don't want the elbow across Gino's face because this arm actually has to help choke her. So I stuff that elbow down. That means stuffing it in and down towards her shoulder, towards her collarbone there. So it helps choke her on the other side of the neck here. Push down, then watch. Once I get in here, I'm gonna come over the head with my elbow and I kind of push her head down a little bit with my elbow and I grab my bicep here. My other hand's gonna go right up to her lap muscle here and I just latch on. From here, all I'm gonna do is drive in slightly and give a good squeeze and finish with my Nogi Bravo. When we say good squeeze, I compare it to like kind of giving someone a big bear hug, basically. You're here and you're just squeezing like this. Um, the Bravo choke in itself is, it's a slow choke, okay? It's not gonna come on real, real fast. It's gonna be slow. So when you get it on there, you have to stay consistent with that pressure, drive in a little bit, you do that right, you should be able to finish this, okay? So again, she's on her side. The first thing I do, if this arm is here, I have to get that arm across here. Then I come under the neck and I stuff the elbow. I come over, I get my bicep, and I get right on her lat muscle. You guys come over here so you can see this angle here. Just like so. Again, look at my hands. I make sure I grab my bicep, my other hand comes up. If I can't reach this for whatever reason, I can always do just like this here with my fist, but I think it's better if you can latch on to something. I drive in, squeezing, and finishing with the choke. One more time. Also guys, if they're not on their side, like let's say they're laying flat and you want to apply this, get an underhook here and pull them up on their side. You can always force them here. A lot of times I'll just come up and pull that arm right off my neck here. Stuff, come over top, right here. Okay, I can have my leg up. You know, this is okay. As long as you're getting that pressure and driving in, you should have that move, that move. Move dead to rights right there, okay? All right, guys, for more information, check out my website or Master Paul's website. My website's AnnapolisMMA.com. Master Paul's is IHateYoungPunks.com.